you can't sue a restaurant because your food's too hot. Let me tell you all about it. A man in New Jersey was dining at a chain restaurant in 2010 and ordered some fajitas. When his food arrived on a sizzling plate, he bowed his head to pray. Now apparently the man bows his head low, <laughs> really low. He says that in mid-prayer, he was burned severely on his face and neck. The server, it seems, didn't warn him how hot the dish was, so he sued. But a judge dismissed the lawsuit, so he appealed. And now two appellate judges have also ruled that he can't sue. The judges say the risk of being burned was self-evident. In other words, if you put your face in a plate of hot food, you know you're going to get burned. Now, many people are cheering the results of this legal action. They think the lawsuit was just a get-rich-quick scheme. But I don't think they really understand what's going on here. The man ordered fajitas, for goodness sake. They're full of onions and peppers and other spices. So the man was planning on getting burned, just on the inside, not the outside. And oh sure, the server brought the dish wearing oven mitts, but that doesn't necessarily mean the plate was hot. For all he knew, she was wearing them to keep her hands warm. 2010 was a pretty cold year, you know. The plate was sizzling. Or was it? You know, some stadiums pipe in crowd noise during games to create more excitement. Maybe the restaurant was piping in these sounds to get people excited about their meals. You know, if the dinner was really hot, there should have been a warning on it that said, dish is hot, don't stick your face in it. It doesn't really matter, though, because the judges say he can't sue. Now the man is probably discouraged and feels the legal system, like his food at the restaurant, has burned him. I'm Michael P. Downey. Thanks for watching.